Zora Neale Hurston, novelist, folklorist, anthropologist, the genius of the South. Her works, including Their Eyes Were Watching God, Jonah's Gourd Vine, Go Tell My Horse, and many others, give us a unique insight into what it was like being an African-American woman in one of America's most racially tense times. While she almost faded into obscurity at her time, her works are still alive and enjoyed by the audiences of today. Through her perspective, we get a glimpse at the struggles, daily life, and perseverance of a demographic that was previously almost entirely unheard from. Born in Alabama on January 7, 1891, Zora Neale Hurston moved as a young child to Eatonville, Florida, an entirely African-American incorporated town. As a result, Hurston did not experience the typical racial anxieties and antagonisms that most blacks encountered in the turn of the century South. Instead, she developed into a confident young girl, aware of her womanhood and female identity. There, she attended school until age 13. After the death of her mother in 1904, Hurston's home life became increasingly difficult. After her mother died, young Hurston was sent to a boarding school, and there, her safe, insular world disappeared. An acute identity consciousness would empower Hurston to become a more prolific and creative writer than her African-American female peers. After her relationship with her stepmother rapidly declined, her father sent her to a school in Jacksonville, Florida. Hurston greatly missed her mother and the warm, loving family atmosphere that she had grown up in. Hurston found herself being passed from relative to relative while working as a nanny and housekeeper. When Zora was in her early teens, she became a wardrobe girl in a Gilbert and Sullivan repertory company, a theater company that was touring the South at the time. Eighteen months later, with the help of a former employer, she enrolled in Morgan Academy in Baltimore, Maryland in 1917. She graduated a year later and went to Howard University from 1919 to 1924. She secured a scholarship which allowed her to transfer to Bernard College, the women-accredited institute of Columbia University, where she earned her degree in 1928. From 1928 to 1932, she studied anthropology, the study of human culture and folklore, at Columbia University under Franz Boas, a man regarded widely as the father of modern anthropology. She conducted field studies in folklore among African Americans in the South. Her trips were funded by folklorist Charlotte Mason, who was a patron of both Hurston's and Langston Hughes. Now, for a short time, Hurston was a literary consultant to a novelist by the name of Fanny Hurst. In 1936, she was awarded a Guggenheim Fellowship for traveling and collecting folklore in Haiti and the British West Indies. In 